right. One, two, go. Whoa! <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. I was actually uh, born and raised in Chicago. Uh, and, and my parents are from Mexico. Uh, my family is from Mexico. Um, and Rosie was uh, born and raised in Mexico, so we got to meet in Mexico. I was born in Mexico, but I was raised here. I came to the States when I was five. There's benefits, and, and I love my culture, but there is also the negative part that they're not gay-friendly or LGBT-friendly. They're still not open to that uh, concept. Probably from uh, the four of us, the one that struggled the most, uh, being a lesbian or being part of the LGBT community was Rosie. She was bullied from friends, close relatives. Me sentí feliz porque estaba porque venía con Claudia, pero es un cambio bastante drástico. The town in general is not very uh, gay friendly, and also they're not very, uh, I can say, Hispanic friendly. So we kind of run into another little uh, gap there, but. Um, I think we, we've embraced ourselves with friends that have become really close. Uh, some of them used to not uh, think highly of Hispanics, and now that they've met us, they see our lifestyle, they've changed their way of thinking. Being raised here in the Midwest has taught me values, how to be respectful to other people. Here, they take the time to get to know you. They say, hello, good morning, open the door for you. Even neighbors, they, once they found that they were going to be parents, they all like opened their doors to us. We were at the house. I, I can't remember what we were Just visiting the boys to. Mm -hmm. we, we went over to see them and we knew we needed this. Um, we just brought it up to the table. We said, what do you guys think? You know, we, we want to have a baby and we would like Sergio, you know, and Bobby to help us do this. They're a stable couple. Why not? <laughs> and Sergio and I had talked about it prior to that, not so much about this, but we had thought about possibly adoption because we both did want children. And then when they came over and we started talking about it, it was like, perfect. I think that Claudia and I, the hardest thing we had to do was like explain it to our parents because they seen us together. They seen Bobby and I together with the family and they seen them together. So for us to tell them, by the way, you're gonna, we're gonna have, <laughs> Claudia and I are gonna have a kid. And they were like, what? What are you talking about? Like, what happened? I told my sister first that I was gay. Second, I told her I've been with somebody for 19 years. His name is Sergio. And she was like, how could you be with somebody for 19 years and I don't even know who they are? And I go, but that's not the best of it yet. I go, we're having a child and she flipped. He's our little miracle. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. she went through the pregnancy really good, but then the delivery was, was hard on her because she wanted to have natural. She didn't want any drugs or anything. They had to do an emergency C-section because it turned out that he wasn't in, in the right position. <gasps> I'm crying a lot, right? Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> I'm crying, crying. This come out. I'm telling the Claudia, I, I, I want to see, I want to see. I feel kind of honored mm -hmm. because I was the first one to touch them. Because they were upstairs with Ro Claudia was with Rosie because, you know, the C-section. So I just walked up, I, I just walked over to him, grabbed his little hand and, you know, <laughs> it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay. And, you know, rubbing his stomach and his head and stuff. And I think that <laughs> might be kind of the reason him and I have kind of like our own special little attachment. Legally, I am the aunt because, you know, uh, Aaron only has Sergio and Rosie in the birth certificate. So legally, to anybody, I am the aunt. Uh, to Aaron, Aaron, he has two moms and two daddies. That's Sometimes a good... Aaron thinks he has three moms. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. a lot of times he calls me mommy. And if I don't, <laughs> and if I ignore him, he'll just sit there and start yelling, mommy, mommy, mommy. We do not live in the same town as our son. We live in Chicago and he lives in Indiana. So for the most part, the schedule is 
almost full time with the moms. Uh, we see them, we go there every weekend. He's changed our routines. Um, he's changed drastically, at least at the household. Rosie had been working all her life and she was used to getting her income, being independent, being, now she stays at home 24 seven, babysits and her boss is a little two year old that tells her, <laughs> this time we're go doing this, this time we're doing that. We, we do more family uh, activities. And before we were so used to just being out and you know, <laughs> kind of doing what we wanted to do, visit places we wanted. Now it's more like, is there a park nearby? Is there a zoo? <laughs> is there a museum? Yeah. Here's a little one. Oh, you're good. Is that a heart? Wow. Wow. wow! He loves to learn. He's anything that you teach him new, it catches his attention. Um, you don't need to tell Aaron how, how he's gonna be. I think, uh, and that was my fear of having children, how they were gonna be bullied or how they were gonna be treated. I'm not worried anymore. I see that he has a strong character. Um, so I think he's gonna be able to handle it very well. As brother and sister, Claudia and I, in my opinion, made us stronger as a brother and sister. And now we know we're like on this forever. Like sometimes I think like, wait, are you talking to me as the mother of my child or as my sister? Which is like when we get into this agreements and stuff like that. But yeah, the bond, we had it since we were little, but now it's like stronger. I see it more like a marriage. I know it sounds weird because he's my brother, but it's somebody I'm not gonna say it's only a 10 year, a 15 year. We're talking a whole life uh, time agreement. Can you give Bella a little kiss? A little kiss, a little kiss, a little kiss. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ready? Everything we do with our lives since Aaron's here has been happening organic. We don't discuss about it. We don't, we all, meshed together very good. And finding a church was really important for us, for Aaron, and we just, it just happened to come through in our town and their town. That was another change I think we all yeah. did. We probably hadn't stepped in a church and yeah. felt good <laughs> for years. I thought years. it was gonna burn when I yes. walked in. <laughs> yes, and I mean, that, yeah, that, sure. I think that was our biggest change. We, we probably became a little closer to our spiritual needs just because of Aaron. Estar unidos. Este, pues siempre estar comunicados, estar juntos, pues siempre, este, que estemos así los cinco, los cinco juntos siempre, en todo, lo que venga de Aarón, en la escuela, en donde quiera que él esté, siempre estar unidos. We always say that we're the next family, you know, <laughs> because it's, it's, we're hoping to help other families. We, you can save so many things just with, with if more gay couples and lesbian couples would get together and say, hey, let's start a family. Let's go parent. Let's help each other. Look at the sky. Ready? Look at the sky. <laughs> Yay! Up in the sky. Just, you know, look at us as just a regular family. Nothing special. We're not asking for anything special from people. Just respect us and treat us like you would treat any other family. I think you are. <laughs>